Just a bit of smoke and extra movement can make your video look like this. When I shoot a product like this, I inform myself about it. Like for an example, this whiskey tastes like sweet smoke, which gives me the opportunity to add smoke and create atmospheric look in the video. The second thing that's written on the bottle is made by the sea, which fits perfectly with this atmospheric scene that I'm creating, as sometimes fog comes out from the sea. There are two types of adding the smoke in your video. One is you can do it manually, you can use a smoke machine to Put smoke in your video in the background or you can use it in post-production you can use story blocks or production crate they have amazing effects which you can use as well so what i use in this video is called the flavor blaster i actually use it in my restaurant for the drinks but after some time using it i noticed that you can use it for videos as well this bad boy comes with few flavors and bubble mixture for the drinks yes you can make bubbles with it as well it is quite easy to use but there is one little flaw the mag is quite small, so it needs to be refilled every few minutes when I am using it to shoot videos like this. So about the video, my camera was the whole time on a tripod. I use keyframes to make movement in a video. It's the best thing you can do when you have steady, boring shots. Now let's hop on into the premiere. First I'll show you a comparison of the edited and original video. So to make our video look like this, we're going to use the original one. So that's the original. And we're gonna add keyframes, so like this. Um, what are keyframes? Keyframes are actually tracking the changes you make to the video. So for example, if you wanna scale it up or uh, make a movement like this, you're gonna have to add keyframes to the video. First of all, we're going to scale it uh, to 184, like this one here. And then we're gonna click on the stopwatch button, which adds the keyframes. The video is going to start here, on this position, and it's going to end up as the same position, unless you add a keyframe again. So you need to change this to another keyframe. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna select the motion. It's going to select the whole clip, and you can just add it like this. So now that means that the clip that uh, we have here is going to start on this position with this number, and we change it through um, clicking on that motion and moving the video to up and left. So that means the keyframe here is going to end on this another position like this. So that means we have this. To smooth things up, you can click on the keyframe and go temporal interpolation and ease out. This is gonna add some smoothness to start the movement, like starting the movement, you see? It's going to slowly start and slowly end again. This is actually how I did the whole video, except I had uh, Lazy Susan that I was using for rotation. Yeah, and that will be it. I hope you liked the video. If you do so, make sure to like, comment or subscribe. Ring that bell button to get the notification for my next video where I'm going to show you how to do virtual effects and flashes. I, uh, I'm using like, a, uh, I don't know, how, how do you call that on, uh, on English, um, rope, not, not rope, like a cable, schlauch, I'm using this, um, for my, for my next video where I'm going to show you how to do flashes, for my next, for my next video where I'm going to show you how to do flashes, for my next video where I'm going to show you how to do virtual effects and flashes.